What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm just hanging out today with my man Joe Hughes with Contractor Dynamics. Uh, we've actually collaborated a little bit, as many of you have probably seen or checked your emails or seen some videos. We we're we we're just talking about how how much like value people get out of smaller, more intimate, one day like intensive workshops, and um, we're doing that. So the Roofing Academy, we're doing our second workshop. It's coming up in January on the 19th, and it's in Utah. It's a beautiful place in Utah. We're actually hosting our, one of our great, another one of our vendor partners, Job Nimbus, is hosting us, and we're hosting it at their beautiful brand new um, headquarters. And I'm really excited about it, but we're going to cover all the key pillars of business, and one of those pillars is marketing. So the way this th th this works is we want to give you as many tools and tricks and tips as we can for where you can leave out of a one day event with a full game plan on what to work on for that year to, and have tips and tricks and tools and actual documents and actual tangible things that you're going to be able to do to implement into your business. So the five pillars, right? That's what we're going to cover at this event. We got marketing. We're going to cover how to build a sales organization. Okay, I'm not just going to teach you how to knock doors and sell roofs. There's a lot of conferences for that. This is like high level creating and turning your company into a sales organization. So we're going to do it. We're going to be talking about that as well. We're going to talk about production. You can blow your company up by selling, but you got to be able to produce at a high level, maintain quality, maintain, you know, safety and maintain a high level of execution. We're going to help you build an amazing production system for your business. Then we're going to talk about how to run your business by the numbers. If you're not running a business by the numbers, as we all know, we all are entrepreneurs. You can make some major mistakes and things can happen. And uh, so we're going to talk about how to run your business by the numbers. But and last but not least, but probably the most important thing, we're going to dive heavily into the people aspect. OK, we're going to give you a tangible system on how to recruit, onboard, interview, hire, train, and retain A players. I know my man, Joe, we, we can dive into some business stuff too. I know you do, 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 you know, focus on the marketing side, but I've just watched you just grow and scale your business. And you're the epitome of everyone I've ever met from your organization, A players. So you, you do a great job of finding great people. You're a good guy. You attract great people, but there's some strategy and, and, and intentionality there. So we're going to unpack a lot of that as well. And then we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have some fun networking and connecting with one another. And we'll do a panel and be able to just literally answer any question you may have. Um, so we're going to cram a lot into one day. But I brought Joe on because we he's partnered with us and he's going to be joining us. The man himself will be joining us and doing a whole session on marketing. And I know you talk heavily about, you know, Five Mile Famous and, and how important your brand and your social media presence is this day and age in marketing. So let us know what are some key things that you you know have learned and or and or want to share and are going to be sharing about at the uh, roofing success workshop. Man, uh, before I get into that, I'm excited uh, that well, like what you're talking about, Randy, is really like, and I'm thinking about it as you're saying it, like the structure of how to structure the different pillars and, and departments of the business, right? Like, I think I think a lot of people are they're going out there like looking for tactics, like how, how do I close more deals or how do I overcome objections or what social media channel do I need to utilize in 2024? And those are all valuable, but those are not worth anything until you have like really the structure of how to build out a sales department or how to, you know, build out your people department or their, your marketing department. So I believe that the most, and we give a lot of thought as to like, okay, if, if we have, an hour to speak or if we have four hours to speak or whatever it is like what's the most impactful thing that we can impart in that given time period because it's a it, as you know randy it's like a balancing act you don't want to overwhelm but you definitely want to give people some tangible takeaways that they can implement because it's not just a raw session right we really do want people to take things away and implement them and uh you know there's nothing more more rewarding to me than when I, you know, maybe speak at an event or a workshop like this, and then you see someone that was there, you know, you see them six months, 12 months down the road, and they're like, man, I, I, I took what you said, and I did the thing, and it worked, and I got this result out of it. Uh, it that's really cool. So that's ultimately like the impact that, that I want to have and our team wants to have whenever we present. Absolutely. 
So, uh, yeah, so that being said, what we try to really focus on are some like higher level and not higher level in terms of like complexity uh, or being fancy or anything like that, but just like the mindset of how you need to go about thinking about your marketing. Um, you know, the tactics are great for like the Q and A, if you do have specific questions like the Q and A and the, you know, breaks or, you know, grab and lunch, those are great times to like ask about the tactical things, but at a high level, uh, we, we have a few takeaways that we like to impart. Uh, number one, I won't go through them all right now. Obviously we need to give a little teaser and get people to the event. Right. Um, but really like think about this strategy as you go into 2024, every, uh, every company like you, you as a roofing company, a contracting company, you need to be the general contractor of your own marketing. Okay. Mm. So what happens is when you start a roofing company, uh, you're like, all right, I know this marketing thing is kind of important, right? Cause obviously we need, we need leads coming in the door. We need opportunities to be able to sell to, but I'm a roofing company owner. I came from sales or I came from production. I don't want to do the marketing thing, right? I'm already wearing 14 hats. I'm working a lot of hours. I don't have the time for this. So I'm just going to hire someone else to do the marketing for me, to make my phone ring, to generate leads for me. Right? So it might be like, you know, you get a website guy, then you get someone to do your social media, then you get like a Google guy and then you get like, Maybe someone doing videos or direct mail or, you know, depending on the size of your company, TV, radio, billboards, like all these different things. Right. So you end up with what we call these marketing subcontractors and they're all running around like crazy. They're doing their own thing. They're not communicating. There's no plan. There's no budget. There's no one managing them. There's no one holding them accountable. There's no meetings. Right. So it's just chaos. So we like to kind of reframe your mind and say, hey, you need to be the general contractor in the middle of all these subcontractors. And that doesn't mean you need to know every single aspect of business or sorry, of marketing, but you do need to know enough to be able to create a plan, to create a budget and to direct some of these different subcontractors and to hold them accountable to actually to the plan and getting your results that, that you want. So, you know, that general contractor role, you're gonna be self-performing some of that marketing uh, and I know, you know, some of you guys might not like to hear that, but in this day and age, you cannot just pay your way out of your marketing problem. Like you can't just throw money at it. You've got to be investing some time into it. So that might be you as the owner. It might be an in-house marketing person. It might be an admin person that spends 10 hours a week on marketing. But like as a company, you need to be self-performing some of that work. And a lot of that is going to be this thing. It's going to be getting your faces on video. Um, showing, you know, sharing stories of your projects and your people and your customers, and your community, your partners and things like that, that's going to have to come from you. And then some of the more technical aspects, yeah, like Google ads or, you know, the billboards or direct mail. Sure. Like hire awesome partners to help you with those things, but at least, you know, enough to have a conversation with them and to collaborate with them and hold them accountable and look at the reports and look at what's working and what's not. So you can continually uh, analyze and adjust and get better results over time. So that's one of the big things that we try to impart. And like, what does that look like? Um, if you are an owner and you don't have the time, do you hire a full-time in-house marketing person? Do you have, like I said, an admin person that's doing 10 hours a week of marketing consistently? What does that look like to make sure that the stuff gets done consistently, just like any other department in the business? So, so yeah, that's the big takeaway that we like to, uh, to educate on. I love it. And and to, to put on my roofer hat, um, I've been on both sides of that. Right. I actually went to school for business with a marketing degree. And, and like the, I graduated like right when Facebook was coming out. So everything I learned was like no and void by the time I actually went into the business. Yeah. Like entrepreneur. But one thing I did learn is I, I, I had to contribute. Right. It, it, we can't just hire and expect marketing people to be able to share our story without contributing and helping them get that message out, right? Your business is your story, your, your company, your brand, your image, like how you operate. That's your story. You're the owner, you're the, you're the manager, you're the, you're the director of the company. So the, you have to take some responsibility and, and put some time and energy into helping and empowering the people you hire to do the marketing, to be able to translate that story. If not, they're going to write their own narrative. It's just going to be what they think and what they come up with. And it may not be what you actually envisioned and want to do. So we're going to really press into a lot of that and help you, you know, really take control over your marketing. I love it. Yeah. Control. I mean, 
marketing, uh, obviously why we're, you're doing this event, like the five pillars of business, like they're all very important, right? So we need to have some level of education about all of them, you know, recruiting people, the finances, you can't just, you can't just say, Hey, I don't want to deal with the finances of my business and hire a bookkeeper and just hope for the best, right? Or hire an accountant yeah. and hope for the best. I know some of us have done that. I've done that, right? I've learned. Uh, it yep. doesn't work very well. So we need to understand at, at least the basics of all these different departments. Absolutely. And, and so if you're interested in the event, uh, a couple more you know nuggets on that. It's it's January 19th. It's in technically in Lehigh, Utah, which is right, right, right there, right outside of Salt Lake City. And who's coming? Right. You owners, managers. We want your leadership team there. This is where this is a strategic meeting. This is a strategic event where we want owners, managers, leaders, department heads to be there to really press in and learn and and create a a plan of action and actually grab the tools that we're going to give you and teach you. We're going to share anything we talk about. There's going to be documents. There's going to be a whole document vault that you get to take with you and, and help you implement into your business. And the best part about this, it's 250 bucks. Oh, right. 250 bucks. That's it. Like I literally, I do this. This is our gift to the industry, right? You know, you've done events. You're like, what? It has a, like, it's yeah. the cost of food. Like we just cover the cost of the food and the, and you know, and the, um, uh, the venue. And we're going to have a fun, like little happy hour get together the night before. So arrive on Thursday, be ready and prepped and ready to dive in and, and learn as much as possible on Friday. And, uh, and be able to take that and run with it. We did it in the beginning or middle of January, which is perfect timing, right? That's when we're all working on our business. That's when we're trying to build our strategic plans and and what better way than to plug in, network with some other roofing contractors, connect and really get some amazing tools to then enable you to go and have a, a massive year in 2024. That sounds perfect, yeah. I, that is that is super cheap. I know from throwing our own events this year, it's uh, it's it, it's a lot of moving parts. So that's a great deal. Yeah, we wanted to do that, man. It's so literally just get there. But the problem is, in order to keep it low, keep it cheap like that, it's small. Like they only have so much room in their in their uh, in their conference center in the conference room there. So um, it's going to be small. I think we only have like maybe forty ish total spots for this event, and they're they are selling quick. Every time I check my email, there's something you know, someone popping in there. So. Uh, is not it is open to the public. This is not you don't have to be with Contractor Dynamics. You don't have to be with Roofing Academy. Any anybody in the roofing industry. Honestly, I do these sort of things and I get people in there that are from different like partners, like you know your team or somebody else. They come in, and they're like, "Holy cow! It was a roofing conference, but man, I took so many valuable business lessons out of there." So even if you aren't in roofing and maybe you're in some other trades or something, this could be some incredible value for you. To really learn some uh, some high level strategic uh, implementation items for your business. So, Joe, hey, thanks for taking time, man. Love what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, absolutely, I'm good to hear, brother. Yeah, good to connect, and uh, and I look, I'm looking forward to the event. So, uh, yeah, you guys have been to a few of your events before, and uh, they're always high quality and, and first class. So, I'm excited. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you jumping on. And uh, for those of you, click the link below. You can go, you can always email me, randy at theroofingacademy.com. There should be a link below as well to click, grab your tickets uh, and, and literally just get to Utah. It's not uh, your, your costs. The, the most expensive thing is your time. And this is one of the most best ROIs you could possibly get is spending a day and a half investing in yourself, learning, there's going, I guarantee there's going to be something that you learn that's going to completely change how you do business. If not, I'm, I'll personally give you your money back. Like that's how confident I am and, and why we why we do this, because we truly believe we can change lives with with the with the content that we deliver in a one day session. All right. Take care. Appreciate it.